Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Life on the Wrist. Hope you all are doing well today. We're going to be talking about Swiss watch export results for March 2022. If you cast your memory back about a year ago, watch results were kind of on a comeback stream. We had just sort of just um, opened up a lot of the, the countries had just started to open up a little bit more and people were allowed to consume a little bit more uh, instead of being isolated in their homes. And so I'll, quick, I'll give a quick summary of March 2021 results and then go over March 2022 results for Swiss watch exports. Obviously, um, April is gonna be the next month that's gonna be coming out, but I thought I would cover these because I do think this is a fairly interesting turning point for Swiss watch exports. Um, as you look at this sort of 12 month average, which is probably where I'm gonna focus on for the most part. So if you cast your memory back to, to March 2020, um, Swiss, wa the Swiss watches were, um, there was a resurgence in people purchasing Swiss watches. If you look even one year prior to that in March 2020, that was really when the pandemic started, when a lot of Western countries, not just Eastern countries, had started to um, uh, close down and uh, put into place isolation mandates. And so uh, in 20, March 2021, uh, Swiss watch exports grew by 37.2%. That was about one point, if you round up, 1.9 billion Swiss francs. And at that point, the 12-month moving average was around uh, a negative 23%. It had just started to tick up because if you compared it to such a low base of March 2020, um, it's obviously going to do fairly well. If you looked at the countries, the um, Asian markets were the ones that really were dominating. Um, as well as the U.S. sort of coming in in, in, the, in the top four. Uh, China, U.S., Hong Kong, Japan, and Singapore were, th were the top five. And I think that's a good demonstration of the fact that Asian uh, countries in Asia were really dominating um, the market at that time. But let's look at March 2022, which is, ex which is why we're sort of doing this right now. In March 2022, Swiss watch exports uh, totaled uh, just over 2 billion Swiss francs, which if you compare it to March 2021, um, is an increase of about 11.8%. Now, 1.8 billion is a fairly um, small, is, is a, a, a substantial amount of money for sure, but it is a relatively low figure um, for this time. This growth of about 12% um, is um, actually the first time that 2 billion Swiss francs um, in the second quarter was, was actually breached by Swiss watch exports. So it's a fairly um, significant uh, result for them. If you look at it, the breakdown, wrist watches were up by about 11%, other products were up by about 18%. What's interesting is that as we move over to the 12 month moving average, obviously because 2021 was such a low year, um, 2022, the moving average really went uh, into the positive territory. Um, if you look at January and February, you were looking about of uh, north of 30% uh, 30 change in the 12 month moving average. But this was the first month where the 12 month moving average actually moved south to uh, about 32% uh, um, year over year growth. Um, this is a, a, a pretty significant, um, significant sort of normalization of the 12 month moving average. I think once we get sort of the 2021 out of the way, it'll start being um, a more interesting factor, but um, this is interesting that this was the first time that this 12 month moving average moved, um, moved south. Once 2021's moved out, I think we'll sort of have a better pulse on the, on the year. If we look at um, Q1 of, of this year, I think it, w they were on pace, uh, Swiss watch exports were on pace to have um, a really great, a great year. If you look at the breakdown by, pr uh, by uh, materials of each of these watches, steel and precious metals are really the ones that led the way. Steel coming in at plus 13.8%, precious metals coming in at plus 11%. If you look at total value, you're looking at um, 789 uh, million Swiss francs and 710 million Swiss francs for steel and precious metals respectively. And then obviously the other categories um, coming in after that, gold and steel being um, being that th number third, the third place um, sort of category there. Interesting to, to, to look at that. Um, what's interesting as well is while steel was up by 13% and the change of, of um, Swiss francs uh, year over year in units, it was actually down by 6%. So um, 
seems like people are, I guess this month, more expensive steel watches were, were purchased. Moving on to the price category, things are pretty unchanged between uh, under 200 Swiss francs, 500 to 3,000 uh, 3, Swiss francs. 200 to 500 Swiss francs was actually down uh, pretty heavily. Um, and I think this is due to the fact that um, the results for, uh, for um, um, March 2021 were, pr were pretty significant. But for this price category, units were down by about 6% and value was down by about 14%. Overall, you did see an increase, which is nice. Units being up by about 2%, so a fairly normal growth rate there and uh, value being up by 11.4%. Main markets, uh, these are the big the names that you always hear. Um, these top six markets make up 55% of the total share of Swiss watch exports ever exported in the month of, Mar uh, month of March. USA coming in first, China, Hong Kong, Japan, United Kingdom, and Singapore. These are relatively common names that you're gonna see in these in these uh, markets. It's interesting the US eclipsed China a little bit. I know that China was going through some, um, some uh, COVID-19 sort of protocols, and I don't know if that has a significant influence on it, but it is worth noting at this time. If you look further, um, at the sort of variation between 21 and 20, 2021 and 2022. Um, China and Hong Kong actually saw negative growth. This was because I think at the time, China and Hong Kong had actually seen tremendous uh, growth in March 2021 compared to uh, March 2020. And so they were starting at a really, really high number. However, China was down by about 27.6% if you compare 2021 to 2022, which is significant. Um, again, I don't know if it, is re it has to do with the COVID-19 uh, restrictions that they're putting in place, um, but it is worth noting. Um, as you continue down, um, what's really nice is most countries have positive growth rates. Um, number 11, South Korea saw negative 2%, which is fairly insignificant. And then when you go get below 20, the 20th ranked market, I think things start to kind of shake out. Our biggest result for the top 30 markets uh, Looks like it is Portugal plus 135 percent. Apparently, some people are going to be buy are buying watches there, um, so that's that's really interesting to see. Uh, these top 30 marks made up 93 percent of the total watch market at that um, for the month of March. And let me just get over to this last section um, where we just look at the um, variations in the regions. Americas, Europe, Oceania, and Africa also positive growth, uh, and Asia was un basically unchanged, negative 0.3%. Really, is isn't a significant portion of, or a significant variation in, in results here. Um, it is nice to see these positive results, but again, this is a time when we were just getting out of the pandemic, and so you could say that there's um, a little bit of variation um, manipulation there, a little bit. Um, Total share, Asia again making up 50%, um, which makes the result for um, China pretty significant to the overall results for Swiss watch exports. If they came in at a positive value for the month of March, you probably would have seen a real significant, um, a real significant increase um, that might have kept, uh, um, might have uh, shown that uh, Swiss watch exports would have been um, a little bit more for the month of March 2022. All right, so um, that was my um, that was a summary of March 2022. I always do a sort of a forward looking. Um, I, I look forward and I think what what Swiss watch exports are going to do going forward. I think Swiss watch exports have been a little bit soft over I'd say April and into May. Um, th there's been some f fantastic watches that have been released. I think that's going to drive a lot of the purchases that are going to happen over the next couple of months, and so I don't think the um, Results are going to go negative by any chance, but I don't think we're going to see record months. Um, the watches that were released were just uh, phenomenal this last year. Watches and Wonders, I've covered um, some of them on, the, on our website. So if you haven't seen our Watches and Wonders coverage, you can check out our YouTube channel or you can go to our website where we have articles for all that. But the watches were absolutely phenomenal. Uh, there was a lot of craze around the pieces that had, that had come out. I think it was really just driven by the fact that we are now opening up we can be with people at these events it's it's a time where we can all get together and, and discuss the things that we love which are watches and um so so i think i think 
there's going to be definitely some demand driven by the watches that were released. However, I, I'd say that economically speaking, it's sort of we're sort of waning a little bit, especially with the inflationary measures that are be being put in place by a lot of central banks. And so I think it's going to maybe even out and probably keep us really at par um, for for the next couple of months. Um, there are rising COVID rates, which again, it's becoming a little bit less significant as we go on into 2022, but it is a factor that could have, um, could, could, um, could factor in. I'd say we'd probably, we'll probably remain around this 2 billion Swiss franc mark. Um, maybe, maybe a little less, maybe a little bit more. Let me know what you think about the March 2022 results and also what you think the state of the economy will do to the Swiss watch exports. I'd love to hear your thoughts about that. If you want to read more about the 2022 results, there will be a link in the description. Uh, well, there will be a, I don't think there'll be a link in the description, but you can head over to our website and read about the Swiss watch exports from March, 2022. We do an article with every video that we release on our YouTube channel. So be sure to head over to lifeandtherest.com if you want to read that. If you wouldn't mind subscribing to the channel, if you like these types of videos, we do videos about watches, a real range of topics. So um, be sure to check out some of our other videos and subscribe to the channel if you like the content you are seeing. If you want to get more content from us, be sure to head over to our podcast, head over to our social medias, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, you name it, we're there. We'd love to talk watches with you. And if you wouldn't mind hitting that like button for us, it really does help us out with our YouTube analytics. And with that said, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. And until next time.